No, throw him back. Why? Throw him back. You can't keep him, buddy. Why? You gotta throw him back. You gotta throw him back. He needs to go home. He's gonna be sad. Throw him back. Come on. Give him a kiss. Then throw him back. Next time you can keep him. We'll come back tomorrow and catch some more. Come on, buddy. Throw him back. Why not? I want to keep him. Why? Gun. You can't keep him. Why? You got to throw him back. Why? I want to keep him. Well, you can't play with him. He's not a toy. He's a fish. Why? Because he's a fish. Well, well I could lose him as a toy. But he'll get stinky. No, he will not. Yeah, he'll be a stinky fish. You got to throw him back, buddy. Mm -mm. Put him back. Come on. Come on, throw them in. We gotta go. It's dinner time. We'll come back tomorrow and catch some more fish. You want Cora to throw them back? You need a hug? Let him go. Throw them back. Yes, you can't keep them. Throw them way over there. Throw them in the river. Let him go. Come on. Come on, buddy. You gotta let him go. Put him back. You can't keep him. Throw him in the water. No, you can't keep him. Throw them back in the water. Come on, we gotta go. The first time I watched this video, it was actually fun. But the second time as I watched it, I felt God asking me, daughter, what is that thing that I have asked you to let go but you are still holding on to it? It's not only about me. Many of us are holding on to things that God is asking us to let go. It could be a career, it could be a relationship, or just a belief. God is telling you, let this thing go, because it will bring you nothing but humiliation and pain and stench. But you're still holding on to it. You say, no, God, this is what I want. God is promising you, I will take you go fishing tomorrow, and you will have a better catch. But we say, no, God, this is what I want. I want just this one. We are trying to put together something. Something that God has put asunder. We're trying to say yes to something that God has already said no. Just let God give you that thing that you deserve more than that thing that you desire. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and to give you a better hope and a future. Let God's plan in your life prosper. Let God's plan in your life be the number one thing. He holds your future. So let it go and everything will be okay.